And then I finally told Julie in March, if I don't transition, I might not survive. Julie went to work on this, researching what might be going on inside of me, and she found a study by Dr. Scott Curlin, in which he studied around 500 DES sons. You're never gonna believe this number. The percentage of those who reported experienced themselves somewhere on the spectrum of being transgender, 47%. So Julie had found the report at her computer she found me at my computer. She had me bring up the website. And when I read enough, that was like the turning point of our lives, wasn't it? When you found that report. I got mad fast. I hollered, you mean somebody did this to me? And then I got emotional, I started crying. And then, finally, I was thankful. I might finally have a reason why I could never get rid of my desire to be female, why no amount of repenting ever cleansed me. The tough question for us is, if DES, or any other thing that disrupts our endocrine system, or perhaps any other genetic disorder, creates gender conflict in a person, is it a condition that is valid to treat with transitioning, with living as a transgender person? If your answer is no, then what would you do for the person for them and their suffering. 